Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you all right? Me, I'm fine. My car and my cell phone, uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes, it looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? I didn't really get a good look. It was dark and I was distracted and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denal, the caretaker, when we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denal claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies, which is of course utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that door behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself, because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. Ooh, she's laying down the law. A little late, but still, good if thinking. Matt was staying in the nursery, where's his luggage? Right there by his cot. It's not there now. But it was there, just last night. I remember seeing it when I peeked in to see if he'd finally decided to reappear. At least, I think I saw it last night. If it's not there now, perhaps Denal moved it, took it to storage or something. Because I know I saw it after Matt went missing. So it's around here somewhere, just like he's around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Okay. I'll let you get back to your reading. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. Well, we'll talk to her later. Do -do 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 -do. So now let's go see Mr. Delaney, aka Crazy Irish Man. I got a higher. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Sorry about that, folks. That was me making random noises. I apologize. Okay, so let's go to the end. You're not so keen on staying at the castle after all, then. Kyler wants me to find Matt for her. Come to me for a bit of aid and advice, did you? Well, I've got none to give. Not till I got the day's troubles behind me and a crow's nest in front of me. Oh, that makes sense. What? I don't blame you a bit. I also have no idea what you're talking about. The mix maid suddenly took ill, leaving poor Seamus on his own, running back and forth, trying to mix and serve at the same time. I ordered soon as I walked in, yet here I sit, dying of thirst. I'll do no talking till I get me crow's nest, and there's the sorry truth of the matter. But now, were some spry and spunky lass to lend poor Seamus a hand by taking over the mixin' for a while, that would surely speed the plow. Oh, okay, I get it. He just wants a drink, that's all. Sounds good to me. I'll see to it you get your crows whatever. ASAP. Gonna play mix made for a while, are ya? Well, here's what you're to do. I'll take the orders and put the tickets up here. Each ticket will have this no is more than two that drinks goes on on it. And to save time, a... I draw little pictures instead of writing out their names. Time. The mixin' book will tell ya which little picture stands for what drink. It'll also tell you what's in each drink and how to make each drink. Now, to pour something, put the silver mixing glass under either the juice tap or the beer tap. Then, press whatever button the mixing book tells you to press. The book will also tell you how many times to press it. Mm. If the drink Whoa. needs blending, you'll see Whoa. a picture of a blender at the top yet? of the column in the book. You're to put the solid ingredients into the blender first, oh, it's not even then halfway pour through. whatever's in the mixing glass into the blender. Then, press the red button. And when the blending's done, just reach under the counter and find the serving glass that's pictured in the book. Put the serving glass on the grey mat and pour everything from the blender into the serving glass. If the drink doesn't need blending, just find the right serving glass, put it on the grey mat and pour everything you've poured into the mixing glass into the serving glass. Then add anything else the book tells you to add. Put the serving glass on the tray to the right of the ticket it goes to, and start fixing the next drink. Soon as you've made all the drinks on a ticket, ring the bell, and I'll serve them up. Just remember, if the orders start coming thick and fast, and the tickets start piling up, you're to make the drinks on the ticket closest to the bell first. Now you'll be making no mistakes, I'm sure. 
But if you do, just toss the glass into the rubbish bin down there to the right and start over. Mind you, lass, you must do the mixing fast and proper. The quicker you mix, the more tips you'll be keeping. To work with, you know. Okay, it's not that difficult. I'll show you what to do. Okay. You press the buttons. One, two, three, four. Just like the uh, little book there tells you to do. Pour it in a mug, put in a little ice cubes, and uh, a lime wedge. And now we do it again. Excuse the lime wedge. You do fine work, miss. Thank you, Seamus. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be kinda tricky. There's one of those. One of those, and one of those. I also need uh, strawberries. Come on, strawberries. Sorry. Oh, I need ice cubes. And strawberries. Oh, those are cherries. Okay, strawberries. And you pour it in a blender. Blend it up. And I think that's right. Let's hope I didn't screw up. One, two, three, four. That's rather straightforward. Nah. Ah, not a moment too soon. And now for the final order. Okay. Lemon. Two, two of those things and two oranges. Little cup, ice cubes, lemon wedge. I think I might have screwed that one up. Whoops. Two of those things. Two of those things. One of those. Two of them and four bubbles. One, two, three, four. And do a big glass with a lemon wedge. Another round completed. All done and dusted, are ya? Thank you, miss. Take what's in the tip jar. And the next time you help out, you can keep the tips then as well. Okay. You make a mean crow's nest, girl. Well done. Now, I'm to tell you what happened to the Sassenach, am I? I'm sorry, happened to the what? The Sassenach. The Englishman. The one Kyler was supposed to be marrying. Well, what happened to him is this. The she took him. The good people whisked him straight off to their world, they did. By the good people, you mean fairies? You'll not be hearing me call him that. All of us have a name we prefer, and with them, the good people it is. So that's what I call him, and you'd be wise to do the same. Uh, sure. He was kidnapped by fairies. Just what are these good people going to do with him? Whatever they please. He's in their world now, and he'll not be coming back. That's as much of the truth as we'll ever know. Tis not the first time the good people have seen fit to meddle in the affairs of Castle Malloy. Caused the explosion they did. Explosion? Aye, the one that half destroyed the place. The man who lived there in 1944, Brendan Malloy was his name. He was a scientist, charged with making rocket fuel, people say. Only one summer night, hmm. something went terrible wrong. There was a flash, like a thousand lightning bolts. Then a huge boom sent everything south of the library, flying towards the sky. What? Brendan, oh. his wife, Caitlin, used to own this place, she did. Aye, and their little girl, Fiona. All three were lost to the world forever when the place blew. But the blame lay not with Malloy. It was the good people. They'd taken a shine to Fiona, is why. And they knew that little girls, no matter how much they're adored by wee folk or mortals, sooner or later, all little girls grow up and grow old. The good people Aww. couldn't bear to see this happen to their beloved Fiona, so they made full sure it never did. Sounds to me like the good people are actually just the opposite. They have their ways, and we have ours, is all. That's just the way hmm. things. Got plans for you, they do. The fairies? Uh, uh -oh. The good people? What makes you say that? 
I meant to pocket your car keys for safe keeping on my way over here, but I couldn't find them. You mean my keys weren't in the car? Aye, that's exactly my meaning. Taken they were. The good people want you to be staying. 